Hello, welcome to the channel. Today in this tutorial, I'll show you how to design this simple piece here in FreeCAD. And we'll use these dimensions here. And if you want this ring, you can download it on the GrabCAD site. Okay. So I have first to create a new document and here I'll select Partisan or French. Create body and create a new sketch in XY plane. Okay, and here in this sketch workbench, we go to sketch geometry and select this polyline tool. Zoom out this sketch, click in this origin point, and now click in this, this horizontal line. Press M three times, and you get this arc here. And now press M two times, and now three times again, and two times. And now press M um, three times and you get this arc here and now two times and click in this origin point again okay so now we select this tangent constraint and we make this arc here and this line tangent now this arc and this line here okay and next we and next we select this cycle tool and we draw a cycle in this center point okay and now select this point here and this point vertical constraint okay and now what to do is to set the dimension for this sketch here so in this page here we can see this dimension 120 for distance between the center of these cycles here so we come back to this model and we select okay first here we'll, we'll constrain the the radius of this arc here and the diameter of this cycle so here we have 15 for the radius and 15 for the diameter of this cycle here so we select this constraint here select this arc here and set 15 and now select this cycle and set 15 and the radius for this arc here we can see is 8 millimeters and here is 25 so we click in this arc and set 8 millimeters and here 25 and next we select this horizontal distance tool click on this center point and now this origin point and here we'll set sixth okay and next here we see this dimension 120 for this center point to this center point so here we select this vertical distance tool click in this center point and this oh sorry guys we select this point here and this point I will set 120 okay yes is that so next we leave this sketch here press on and go to this pad tool the value of this pad we can see here is 10 millimeters so what to do here is, is to click ok go to model and now select this pad operation and Go to mirror filter and here click OK. And next, select this face here and create a new sketch. Select this external geometry tool and extract this edge here and select this cycle tool. Click in this center point and now on this end point. Okay, so close this sketch and now we go to this pad tool okay so the value of this pad here is is 50 millimeters okay and here we have this angle okay so you will set 10 degrees so we go to taper angle and here we set 10 okay so it will be minus 10 and now we get this so click ok 
and next select this space here again and create a new sketch select the cycle tool and click in this vertical line and draw the cycle here so here we see a diameter of 45 for the cycle so we select this constraint here and click in the cycle we change to 45 okay and and here we see we see this dimension for the distance in, to this cycle to the cycle here so we have this dimension 107 so what to do here is to select this tool and extract this edge here switch to section view and now select this vertical distance tool select the center point and the center point and set this dimension and now leave this sketch and go to pad tool and the value for this pad here will be 90 so change here to this dimension and now click ok and next we create a new sketch in yc plane switch to section view and select this external geometry tool and extract this edge here and this edge okay now select this polar line tool uh, click in this horizontal line and now draw this line here and this line click in this horizontal line and now in this end point okay so now we select this tool here and we create a point in this line here and now select these two lines and vertical constraint and here we see this distance 6.5 so select this vertical distance tool click in this point and now this point here and set 6.5 okay and drag this point here and here we select these two points and we set vertical constraint and the distance here we can set one millimeters the distance between these two points one millimeters and close this sketch and go to this pad tool set smart to plane and now let's see the value of the path so here we have eight millimeters so we change here to eight and click ok and next we select this face here and we go to this icon to create a new sketch select this external geometry tool extra this edge and this edge now we select this cycle tool and do these two cycles and the diameter for these cycles we can see here we have 18 for this cycle and we have 25 for this cycle here so click in this cycle and set 25 and here set 18 and now leave the sketch and go to pocket tool and here we set the tab to toggle and then click ok and what to do next is to create this chamfer operation here we have two millimeters okay and we come back to this model and here we select this edge and select this chamfer tool we set a size of two millimeters and now click in this add button add this edge and click ok and what is missing now is this is this chamfer here okay so the value will be okay we don't have here 
so we select this we select this edge select this edge oh, sorry okay change the draw style for wireframe and select this edge here and now go to the self operation and here we'll set one millimeter okay and now click in this add button and add these two edges now click add again and okay now we change the result for flat lines okay and next we select this edge here and go to fill light tool and here we see we see what we see we see a range of one millimeters so click in this add button and now add this edge and click in this add button again and click ok so as you can see we finished the design of this model thank you for watching this video